Hey everybody, Leslie Spears has joined us here in the Oklahoman's Video Studio. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Doing quite well. She handles all things promotions, marketing, and fun stuff with the Myriad Gardens located Caddy Corner, directly across the street from the Oklahoman here in downtown Oklahoma City. What is new? What's going on? Uh, you know, I thought September would be a quiet month. Oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> because you guys do such a good job of constantly having events and things going on. And I was down here kind of cruising around Sunday and lots of people across the street. Yeah, that was the... Um, a beautiful day, though, wasn't it? It was perfect. Great weekend. It was fact. perfect. It was the Arts Council Sunday Twilight Concert, and it's winding down. It's going to end September 25th. You're kind of wrapping up several things, uh, like the Children's Garden. Yes, the Children's Garden will be closing September 29th, so we can set up for Pumpkinville, which will open October 7th. The Thunder Fountain closed officially for the season, so uh, no more screens. Um, but yeah, we're gearing up for pumpkins. We've got 16,000 that will arrive that last week of September. Only 16,000? Is, is this more pumpkins than in the past, or are, yes. you, are you reducing pumpkins and you get more? No. Used to, uh, the first year, this is our fifth year, the first year it was 3,000. <laughs> now it's like, since grown, I just really think our team has put together a great traditional event. Well, for people who perhaps have not experienced Pumpkinville, give us the overview of what that is. Well, we take uh, the children's garden and we just inundate it with pumpkins from the entryway throughout the whole entire section the whole entire section of that of the gardens and uh, we have scarecrows throughout we have games we have crafts um this year we're just you know up in the game we're gonna have pumpkin painting and it's a good idea yeah yeah and, children's uh, garden i believe is the southwest corner of the myriad gardens it is it, okay. is it is the scarecrows though that's kind of interesting we were looking at your website oklahoma city botanical gardens.com or myriadgardens.com.org you have a call for scarecrows. We for do. We do. And we get um, scarecrows from schools and Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts. So are you still looking for people to yes. submit a scarecrow? Yes. September 19th is your deadline for your application. Ooh, that's coming up. It is. And um, so, yes, and we've had companies, Tinker Federal Credit Union set a scarecrow every year. And, um, uh, oh, gosh, who else? And, and looking online at these these. Scarecrows is pretty creative. We see mm -hmm. a Harry Potter scarecrow. We see the traditional scarecrow, uh, and you've got a, Sonic. You have a list of potential themes, but there's Sonic. There's the three amigos. The Philharmonic did those. Uh, Rumble. Rum and Rumble was done by a really cool um, class that meets at St. Luke's, and they have an art instructor, and they create projects. And this is that was a last year they did a really cool. Um, they decorated our our tower. You know the staircase tower. Mm -hmm. um, and let's see who else it's just it's just so oh we, we have had artists just individual artists one girl who's uh studying fashion merchandising she made a scarecrow that was very much like a project runway um, oh, cool. theme. you make, know it was a dress made of twigs make it, it so, so right yeah yeah made it so made it work all right very good so a uh, call for scarecrows for pumpkin bill mm -hmm. and pumpkin bill will be in october over at the myriad gardens in the meantime however you mentioned the um the waterfall is shutting down. I saw Steve Blackmire post on Twitter that he was out there this past weekend and jumped in, right? He just got under. It's like a giant shower. <laughs> Kids love it, and well, so it's, it's odd to see adults in it. So I was really, uh, I was, I was like, Steve Blackmire. You know, he's got some with his new health initiative. He's like really got some some great energy, and he just he did it and he tweeted it. And well, good for him. Uh, and he recently led a walk through the mm -hmm. gardens. Mm -hmm. And you have Mayor Mick Cornett, I believe, move with the mayor is what you're calling it, coming up this Friday. Right. I did I did want to let you know that Steve's coming back for an encore walk on the 24th. Okay. So tell us tell about that. these walks. What are these? What are they well, intended to be and who are they for? It's just a part of our health and wellness initiative, Myriad Life with the Oklahoma City Community Foundation. It's just uh, trying to inspire people to walk. And Steve Lackmire actually brought a nice crowd. Or a nice crowd came to walk with Steve. And he just talked about articles coming out. And he also mentioned his health journey. Um, so the mayor is, that's a national initiative, hashtag move with the mayor. Okay. And it's with the, it's in conjunction with World Heart Day, which is September 29th. Okay. So he scheduled three walks at the gardens. The first one is this Friday at eight o'clock. The next, 8 a.m. The next one is five o'clock on Monday, the 19th. And then he'll do the final one on the 29th, which is at 8 a.m. And uh, he's just going to walk for 30 minutes, and you can join along with him. And uh, if you go to the hashtag, move with the mayor, you see what other mayors are doing with their community. It's really a great initiative, and we're glad to be his location. Very cool. So 8 a.m. this Friday, it's mm -hmm. free. Join, mm -hmm. walk the mayor. Just walk with the mayor. Free donuts. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. No, no donuts. <laughs> Didn't uh, think about that. <laughs> also on Friday, the full moon bike ride, which is always fun. Yes. Uh, and run, I should say. Yes. Uh, you know, the sun goes down at 8 o'clock now. 
So our time is seven o'clock for the run, eight o'clock for the ride. Cool. And uh, yeah, we have about three to five hundred cyclists, and the the run has about a hundred. Have you ever had it on a Friday though? Yes. Seems, seems like it's always during yes. the week or you know a Sunday night or something. Yeah, this is on even though our... full moons can happen. I, I fully realize seven days a week, but yeah, uh, yeah, we've had it on Saturday. Okay. And uh, yeah, we kind of like the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, rides a little more, but you know, it's it, like for instance, the runners they make Blue Garden their stop at their halfway point. You know, we just leave it up to them, they can stop if they want. Um, and why not? Right? Yeah, and then they just run back um, to the gardens, but um, yeah, it's, it's odd that it's on a Friday night. Okay, so that's coming up Friday night the full moon bike ride and run, which is just kind of a cool tour through oh, the area. It's like little fireflies throughout downtown. Yep, it is. The next day on Saturday, Bent Willow Furniture Class. What is this? Well, we bring in this um, kind of uh, old hippie dude named Bim Willow. Okay. And uh, he instructs the class. This is our third year to bring him in. He's great. He's funny. And uh, he brings in all this Bent Willow um, sticks. They say you'll never look at sticks the same way again after you participate in this class. And then he instructs people on how to bend the willow, hammer it, and make, you know, you can make a, uh, a chair or a bench or a stool or a love seat hmm. and uh, and yeah it's gonna be fun and if it's the weather's right it'll be under the pavilion which is kind of cool for it to be outside and um, yeah it's it's a little focus you gotta have to have focus and time and um, but you know yeah we'd like to see a few more people participate okay very good that is coming up on Saturday and we'll close with this on Sunday wiggle out loud <gasps> friends of the yes. sugar-free all-stars Chris Weiser is behind this yes this is our first year to have it at the mirror gardens but it's I think their third year third or fourth year and yes Chris Weiser is awesome and it starts at 11 a.m. and it goes to like 6 p.m. and its goal is just to uh, encourage kids to get up and wiggle <laughs> I, I've heard other people who have gone to this in the past, the, the you know parents are like, this is a fantastic event. Yeah, yeah. There's a lineup of artists. Luke, Lucas Ross kicks it off with his banjo playing, and of course the Sugar Free All Stars, Spaghetti Eddie, all those guys. It's a it's a fundraiser that the Oklahoma Children's Hospital puts on, and uh, it's super fun. Very good. She's Leslie Spears, the Myriad Gardens. You can follow her on Instagram, instagram.com slash Myriad Gardens and other social media outlets. Leslie, as always, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate thanks for it. having me. Absolutely.